Hi, welcome to Anderton's TV. Uh, I'm Brad, and today I'm joined by Nate from Nova Distribution, uh, who are the UK distributors of Warm Audio, uh, hence the monolith of tone that we have here. Um, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. That's uh, all right, Brad. Yeah. So um, tell it is uh, tell, tell tell us tell us <laughs> what it is that you guys do. Uh, so we are the UK distributor for Warm Audio, uh, amongst the few other lines that we carry. Uh, today we are here to show off the new WA14 and WA14 Stereo. Uh, people who are familiar with Warm Audio products know that uh, Warm aim to bring you know the vintage gear, analog gear to the yeah that's right to the home and uh, project studio market. However, it also being a viable option for the big commercial studios. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen that with the successes of uh, the WA76 FET compressor, uh, the EQPWA tube uh, equalizer, yep. and now they've turned their attentions to the microphones. Uh, later, I mean, uh, sorry, last year, they brought us the WA87. Which is Yeah, down which is down there. there. Yep. So that's the, you know, with the vintage circuit as yep. well, we're delivering that warm tone. And now they have uh, presented us with WA14 featuring this one that's here. That's right, featuring that one there. Featuring uh, the CK12 style brass, all brass uh, capsule. Now that's so. uh, a 1970s design for those mm. of you that don't know. Um, I think before we delve into the, the inner workings of the microphones and what they bring, it's really important to note that um, with warm audio, obviously people see outboard gear and they, they see hardware and they think, oh God, this is gonna be really expensive. And no. it, it's sort of like a mission statement for you guys almost that the stuff is affordable, isn't it? Yeah, of course. So, um, yeah, uh, check these out on the website for pricing because I think it's really important that you know how affordable they actually are. Uh, it's. I mean, they're like a third of the price. Yeah, of, you exactly. Know, if you were to buy really high end, if you were to buy the yeah. original bits of kit that these are based on, or the, yeah, the circuitry based off, on, yeah. it it's going to cost you a hell of a lot more. Um, but it's it's one of those things you can come in store and check these out. But have a look on our website. There, we are going to be visiting some of this gear, hopefully in the near future, as well as yeah. the uh, the other microphone that's in the series. So, obviously, check out the rest of the channels for that. But what we're here for today is the WA14. So if we were to, before go into the, the inner workings of this microphone, if I can get it out of its shock mount. Uh, <laughs> <Shooky. laughs> tell me a little bit about the, the history, as it were, of the mic. Um, in terms of, okay, so. So how did Warm Audio come to, to actually come up with this design or what, why, what did they feel was the need to, to bring this to the market so you know as, as I've mentioned before they had the WA 87s mm -hmm. and that kind of brought you know the, the vintage kind of warm character tone mm. uh, this one here they really wanted to concentrate on more of like you know as I mentioned the CK 12 yeah capsule design yeah which has more of a kind of sparklier high-end kind of uh, tone or sonic character to it mm -hmm. um, and they wanted to do something that you know people in moderate sized studios will be able to use on vocals, overheads, percussion, mm -hmm. guitar. So it's gonna, re you know, it's really kind of a, a vast kind of uh, sound sources that it could be actually um, used with, mm. so yeah. Now a lot of people uh, won't be too mistaken to say that it looks very similar to a, another microphone from a Austrian manufacturer, possibly in the 1970s. Really? I, <laughs> you know, it's it for my foot. It's obviously can't uh, really discuss the similarities, but it's no. There's definitely some influence there. It's a homage, would you say, homage, or is yeah. it? Does it take a bit more from the the original design? Uh, so it's actually taken from the EB, uh, design, which was the, which the, the silver uh, the, yeah. 1970s that's, jobby. That's correct. That's the official so, term, um, jobby. That's um, right. It's <laughs> done for extended base. So yeah, yeah. It's actually taken from that earlier kind of yeah. Again, we're talking about something which is a fraction of the price. So if you want to come and check these out in store or mm -hmm. purchase them, have a little play, it's definitely worth doing so. Um, now, we're gonna check this out today with some um, drums, yep, maybe some fine. acoustic guitar and some electric guitar. We're also gonna be doing some videos at another stage with Meg uh, in our series, Hello, Is It Mike You're Looking For? Which 
Oh, wow. <laughs> I look forward to that one. I wanted to call this segment, uh, let's talk about Mike's. Okay. In, let's talk about Mike's baby. But <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. So, yeah. And um, before you tell me anything about the microphone, uh, let's hear how it sounds on acoustic guitar. So what you heard there was the stereo pair WA-14s, both set up in cardioid, uh, no high pass filters, no pads, just straight out of the box as they are. Uh, with stereo pair, some of the audience might not know what the importance of having a matched pair of microphones are because you know you might just go and buy two microphones. But yeah. what what you know you've got your lovely graphs there. Got my lovely graphs here. So basically, what what we did is that uh, we had our batch full of WA fourteens. We individually got them out, and we did a sweeping test tone from twenty hertz to twenty kilohertz mm -hmm. uh, to try and find a maximum uh, tolerance of zero point five dBU. Mm. And in cases we, you know, we definitely had a better result. Yeah. So um, they are very spot on and very close. And so for those of you that are going, well, what does this mean? Uh, that pretty much, when you're using a stereo pair of microphones, you're opening yourselves up to a lot of uh, issues with phasing. And that's the sort of canceling out frequencies. Very nerdy stuff, but pivotal when, uh, when recording uh, two, with two microphones. Mostly on guitar, drum overheads, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So the idea behind a stereo pair is that it reduces the risk of that quite dramatically. Um, also Precisely. means that they are tuned and sound quite similar as well. So yeah, these are the sort of things that, uh, as, as we, we said, we've tried with the acoustic guitar. Yeah. Um, I think it's probably best to try them with a bit of drums as well. So let's hear how that sounds. So, tell us what's inside the box when you buy these. So, included in a stereo pair mm -hmm. is obviously the two microphones, WA-14s, the two shock mounts, and this brief instruction of what happens to calibrate the two microphones, with also their graphs as well. Mm. To and is that unique to the, uh, the That's why it's unique to the actual serial numbers, so. Yeah, cool. There you go. Sorry, it's a bit. So that's a, a real time response of those microphones. That's correct. Does yeah. that mean that I'm gonna get some really nerdy people 
checking the responses and calling me up going, Brad, this this doesn't work. Maybe, but <laughs> they shouldn't have that. You're actually, to say no, they no, should it have does a, match. They shouldn't have that response. Does they match. shouldn't have a response. So I don't think they know what they're there's a, there's doing. There's a challenge for you. No offense. Buy them, buy them, <laughs> challenge it, and uh, Nate will come around your house. And, I will. Um, I'll pay you a visit. I'll pay you a visit. And I'll... <laughs> that sounds pretty Not like that. That <laughs> Nate's gonna come round your yeah. house. What do you mean they're not calibrated right? <laughs> so now I was doing these. Um, but like, you but shouldn't what, have that. You shouldn't have that. You shouldn't have that at all. Um, but what's really important with buying a stereo pair of microphones is doesn't mean you have to use them as a pair. Obviously, you can use them as uh, solo microphones That's for correct. vocals, right. uh, but also acoustic guitar. And yeah. also, uh, you know, guitar amps. You shouldn't limit it to just one type of thing. So. Let's hear, have a listen and see what it sounds like with electric guitar. Um, we did mention previously that we're going to get uh, Megan to do some uh, vocals with right. it, and that's going to appear in Hello Is It Mike's You're Looking For, um, <laughs> which, you know, if you want to come along and check that out now, you're most welcome. I'm okay! I know, <laughs> I know you've had a lot of fun today with this. Uh, this is actually Nate's first uh, on-screen yeah. appearance, so uh, how was it for you? It's all right, pretty daunting to begin with. Yeah. I was like, oh God, all these cameras on me. But cameras, I, I've had a great time. It's been Wonderful. Really, well, yeah, thank you very really much cool. for coming down and um, hopefully we'll get you in to talk about some of the outboard gear. Yeah, please. And uh, we'll do some uh, some studio run through on that. Uh, yeah, so just to recap, uh, it's variable polar patterns and pad, uh, CK12 all brass capsule, uh, Cinemag transformer, uh, all that juice for four nine nine. Cool. Uh, and a stereo pair. Stereo pair is one zero seven nine. Wicked. Yeah. So if you want to check these out and all the other bits we've got here today, links are below. And um, just are you doing that thing? Yeah, okay. just do that thing. That's it. <laughs> uh, so links are below. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I've been Brad. I've been Nate. And uh, see you later. Cheers, guys. Just to recap. Yes. <laughs> I was so I can't even I can't even deal. I can't even deal. I'll be in my trailer. <laughs> oh the professionalism is uh <laughs> It was great because there's that little pause. <laughs> Just as he was about to <laughs> Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> Oh no, it's too much. <laughs> oh, you killed me. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Andertons Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, Click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.